there's just a piece that will come over your life. It's supposed to be like that. It's, it's not a coincidence. It's supposed to be when you're in God's presence. All those things take place in your life. And God wants to give us peace. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You don't have to have a relationship with a bottle. You don't have to have to, a relationship with pills. You don't have to have a relationship with a joint, a relationship with cocaine. You need to have a relationship with Jesus. Yeah. Those are lesser powers. But when a greater power than that comes in, it makes them look like they're no good and they really aren't. Because when Jesus comes, and He changes you inside, everything else you held on that was dear to you, you automatically release to say they're not good anymore. Anytime. Have you ever, you know, bought a pair of new shoes? And you look at the old ones and you say, My God, how could I have been wearing those? <laughs> have you ever been there? Yep. And when you buy a new pair of shoes, you look at the old ones and you say, That is ridiculous. How could I have been wearing those ugly things? <laughs> well, that's the way it is. When Jesus comes and you, we allow Him to give us His fullness, you look back and you say, How could I have lived without this? That's right. Yeah. How could I have lived this terrible life without allowing Jesus to come and, and to give me this peace that I've been longing for so long? This joy that I that I don't know, you know, I've been seeking for and I've never been able to find. It's it's in, in the Lord. That's why you gotta bask. You gotta swim. You gotta jump into the river. I used to start to all. When the stream is flowing, you know, I worship, jump in. It's like when we go to Fiesta, Texas, and you get into those rapids, you know, and you get te metes y te mojas and everything. That's the way it is with praise. You can't enjoy it from the outside. You got to jump in. And then you're going in rebota el tubo, you know, and then that, there's that little stream that you don't want to get with, get wet with. And you say, I hope I don't get it. And lo and behold, you're the one that gets it. <laughs> Some of you already went to Fiesta this year. And that's the way it is with God. Jump into the, into the stream, into the river that's flowing. And let the presence of God just saturate you. Fill you. And, and begin to wash you and to cleanse you. And take away all that guilt that you're carrying on uh, in your mind. You know, there's, there's some uh, the message that I had for you this morning. I don't think I'll be able to get into it. But I'm going to just briefly throw it at you here. Is, is, uh, uh, sometimes we are prisoners and we are bound we, we're, we, we have chains but, but this morning I'm telling you that those chains have been broken yes. chains from the past yes. breaking the chains from the past yes. Yes. some of you have been abused as children you're here in church it's not, it's not uncommon Churches are filled with people that have been abused emotionally, sexually, physically, verbally, you name it. There's all kinds of abuse. When you carry all that inside of you, you're not able to function right. But the Holy Spirit is here to heal you from your past and to break those chains that are holding you bound. That are not allowing you to express yourself. That are not allowing you to just enjoy the presence of God. Enjoy your life the way God meant it to be enjoyed. Some of it may be so personal, so scary. So Some of you are carrying right now a guilt from the past that it wasn't even your fault. And the devil has put it over your head and you're still carrying that. And you feel a, a, a dark cloud. In the name of Jesus, I break it right now. It's over, it's over you, but in Jesus' name, I break that power over your life right now, whoever you are in here. In the name of Jesus. And be free. Be free. Be free! In Jesus' name. Where's my Bible? It's up here. I want to just give you something real quick. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has 
sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He has sent me to set the, the captives free. That's why Jesus came. That's why He's here this morning. Is to set the captives free. A todos los cautivos, a liberarlos. Por eso el Señor Jesucristo está aquí en esta mañana para liberarte. Nobody can, can, can set you free. Nobody can make you free but the Son of God. Jesus Christ himself. That's why he came. The Bible says that Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. All you gotta do is receive. All you gotta do is, some of you, maybe you don't know how to praise or anything, pero tú nomás tírate el agua, brother. Don't worry about, well, I don't know what to say or I don't know how to do it. Don't worry about just jumping there. And I guarantee you, by nature, your instincts are going to kick in and you're going to swim because you don't want to drown. Yeah. Amen. But Jesus Christ is here this morning to make you free, totally free and delivered. You're a child of God. You cannot carry that over your head anymore. Amen. Some of you are carrying the guilt. You keep blaming yourself. Stop blaming yourself, yeah? I break that bondage of guilt over your life right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, be broken. Bondage of guilt, condemnation. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 1, There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation over your life. God is not pointing a finger at you and condemning you because He has already forgiven you. But the devil will come and try to remind you of your past. Your past is gone. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. All things are new. You're a new creature, a new species that didn't exist before, but now you are of a new kind. And the old man that was over your life is gone. Is anybody here in Christ? Amen. 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 Amen.